Welcome to Crime Watch, and today we're going to be taking a look at people who outlived their sentences. First up, we have Eddie Collins, who was in jail for 43 years. Eddie and his brother were selling drugs in Arizona, and one day they got into an argument with a guy, and you know how that goes. Eddie ended up shooting the guy over some drugs. He was 21 years old in Arizona when he went to prison. And here you can see a picture of Eddie Collins after being released. And he's now in his late 60s. He was 64 when he got released. That's a long time to be in a cell, bro. But it's nice to see he's doing well. Second guy we got is Harvey Stewart, who was in jail for 60 years. God damn. Harvey has got himself in a lot of trouble from anything including a junkyard heist. Was he really trying to steal stuff from the junkyard? He's down tremendous. And he also murdered someone. He recently said he couldn't remember one person from the last two decades that visited him. Just think about it. When he went to prison, JFK was president. Everything was cheap. And the Beatles had just released their first single. Now we got phones, TikTok, and the Paul brothers. That man had to be confused when he got released at the age of 83 years old in 2011. The third person we got is Charles Edrett Ford, who was in jail for 64 years. Charles claims that he was innocent. He was convicted of murder in the early 1950s and was a black male in an all white jury. So he probably didn't get any help there. He got 64 years and just got released and now he's 86. He was innocent and pretty much had to spend most of his life in a jail. That actually is really sad. Up next we have Johnson Van Dyke who was in jail for 66 years. This is honestly crazy. In 1908 he was sentenced to prison. He was declined parole 33 times over the years. He was released in 1974, but after serving 66 years, he returned back to the job by choice after having problems getting a job. So he checked himself back into the jail for two years, then he got released, and he lived 10 more years before dying at the age of 101. I was wondering if people would rather get released or spend the rest of their life in there at that point. Their whole life has been spent in the jail. And it's crazy to think about how in one day your whole life can change and your family will barely see you. Last guy, and he's the winner of the competition, Paul Goodell, 68 years. He was sentenced to 68 years in a New York State prison and got parole at 86. In 1911, Paul was convicted of second degree murder at the age of 17. After getting released at the age of 86, he didn't want to leave because that's the only life he knew. But then he decided to leave and they were going to put him on the news. But Paul didn't want all the publicity, so he told him he didn't want them to put him on the news. After getting released, he lived in a nursing home for a few years before dying at the age of 93. I hope you guys enjoyed the top 5 people who outlived their prison sentence. It's crazy and also sad to see how they were affected once they got out and how most of them wanted to just go back. But subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time on Crime Watch.